Thank you. And this morning, several people woke up in the dark due to an overnight storm. In some areas, trees were knocked down, including one Durham neighborhood. And that's where we find our Derek Lewis. Derek. Sharon, this house is on Vickers Avenue. I'm going to step out of the way and show you. Crews have been working, uh, removing a tree that fell onto this house last night. The owner says he is happy considering the circumstances. This tree came crashing down onto Walker Frost's house around 9 o'clock last night. I was sitting down in, in the dining room and I heard a, lot, a loud crash, followed a few seconds later by a thud and the house shook. He was home alone during the storm. His wife and two-year-old son were away visiting family. When Frost ran upstairs to see the damage, he realized the tree had fallen right into his son's bedroom. I'm probably the happiest man in the world to have a tree in my house right now because my family's safe and I know not everybody can say that. Crews say removing the large tree has not been an easy process. Not only do we have power lines to contend with, but actually the way that the large tree fell onto the home, the pressure points and the way it's lodged in the other trees is it makes the, the removal process a nightmare. Getting this tree off of Frost's house has taken several hours. So many pieces react differently. The way you cut, you think that the tree's going to shift one way when it could shift another. You really have to be, you have to be a master at your craft. Although this has thrown off Frost's day, he says moving forward will be the tough part. The inconvenience has just started. So, uh, you know, fortunately I have family in the area and I was able to go stay with them last night. Um, but I'm sure it's going to be a, you know, several months of recovery and, and reconstruction. Rebuilding the things that can be replaced. Just recently, the crews have been removing the, the base of this tree, trying to get everything taken care of. Walter does have insurance, and he says he's been living in North Carolina for a while. He's used to these storms, but he's also grateful to still have his family. Live in Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS North Carolina. Well said, and that Frost family, just one of several across Central North Carolina who are dealing with the aftermath of last night's storms. One woman who lived off Creedmoor Road in Raleigh is cleaning up after a tree fell on her house. Karen Mills says she was next door at a friend's house when the severe weather started. When she got home, she saw the damage. Mills says the sunroom and newly renovated bathroom are destroyed. A tree branch also came through the ceiling of the bedroom, nearly hit, hitting the TV there. Sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. I'm devastated. Didn't realize all this had happened until we kind of went inside and saw the mess. Mills says she's staying positive. She says she's been surrounded by family and friends to help her move forward. Repairs will most likely take several months 